Hello and welcome to Gabbit Media. I'm Grant Abbott and today I'm going to show you how you can make great volumetric effects like this one here using cookies and flags. Okay so here's my basic scene and you can see the end result here and you can see what's going on. I've got a light shining up here and it's going through this object and creating the sort of god rays and you can see in more detail here I've got this object that stands in front of the light and creates those rays. If you want to know how I created this scene, I do talk about it in my live stream and I'll put a link in the description. So I've just quickly set up a scene so it's nice and basic and I'm going to use this lamp that we've got created here. I'll change the lamp type across in the settings over here, so object data properties, and I'm going to change it to a spot. You can use an area light as well. I find it a tiny bit more effective with a spotlight. So let's go to rendered view and see what that's gonna look like. I'll bring my timeline up and change it to the shader editor. And I'm going to go to world and set the world to black so we can see the results of our lighting. Now what else we'll need is a volume to go into our world output. You can do this with a big cube and have the volume inside the cube and the process is exactly the same or you can just do it with the world. So if I press shift A now and go shader principled volume and then plug that into the volume you can instantly see it all turns black but it does depend on the size of your scene and things. You'll need to turn the density down. If I go 0.1 then we should start to see something. So this will be exactly the same if you've got a cube as your volume. So I need to select my light again, so I need to press the overlay button so I can see the overlays and therefore see my light and select it. To increase the power of this volumetric effect, we can just increase the power of the light to maybe something like 4000. And of course we can change the color of the light to something interesting if we want. Next we need to put something in front of it. So Shift A, Mesh Plane. I'll go to front view and move it in front of my light, although it's tricky to see. So I'll try and grab it, rotate it, and then move it across in front of my light so it creates this shadow, maybe scale it up a bit as well. So it's covering my scene. Now I can go into edit mode, up here or press tab, and right click and subdivide. And I think about 10 subdivisions is certainly enough. You can have less, you can have slightly more. It depends how many light streaks you want. So I'm now going to go to face mode, and deselect everything. So nothing selected, but now I'm going to go up to select and then select random, and that will select random faces. Now I can press delete, faces, and you can see these rays shining through. There's a few settings you might want to change, so let's go to the render properties and down to volumetrics. So in volumetric settings, the main thing you want to change is the tile size. It defaults at eight, which does a fine job, but if you want it more detailed, then you lower the resolution, so down to about four, and you should get a decent result. Also, you'll get a better effect with volumetric shadows ticked. Another thing you may want to change is the shadows, so go to the shadows, make sure you've got soft shadows on. If you go for hard shadows, you can get that jaggedy look there, but make sure it's on high bit depth, and you might want to increase the cube size, and you can see that sharpens it, and the cascade size as well. So I'll make sure the soft shadow is ticked again, now you might find these squares a little bit irritating and a bit sort of geometric. So what we can do is go into object mode with our cookie or flag and we can give it a subdivision surface modifier. So over to the modifiers, add modifier, subdivision surface, and it becomes a bit more blobby. You can change the power of these by bringing your light closer or further away, depending on how soft you want these or powerful. And obviously changing the power of your light will make a huge difference. You can also change the cone size if you need it more direct going through your shape. You can always turn it right up to a million and get some extreme lighting. Okay, so that's volumetrics and using cookies and flags. Thanks for watching and I hope this helps.